I, I forget how pressed for time a person is when they do three summits. Good morning, Charlie here with Red Summit RF, taking you along on my Summits on the Air adventures. I am hiking this morning uh, up to the top of three different peaks. Uh, they're uh, all relatively easy. I'll start here at Union Hills, or just Union it should be. Uh, Mount Union, that's about a mile hike up this road. After that, I'm going I'm to go up uh, uh, to the top of Triddle, uh, Mount Triddle, which is a bushwhack. It's about a half a mile. And then after that, Spruce Mountain, which is also about a, another, about a mile from the gate on that summit. So, uh, should be a pretty active morning. Um, the thing is, in downtown uh, Mesa, down, down in the valley where I'm from, I uh, just got up this morning about five o'clock and turned on the news and I looked at the temperatures. They said it's going to be around 116 degrees. And then I they had like a map of all the suburbs and towns and everything around Phoenix. And uh, Mesa, where I live, they said it'll be 117. And uh, a few other places near there, 118. So, you know. Down in the valley, 117, 118, 117 is, uh, is about 57 degrees Celsius, so that's uh, it's pretty toasty. For, for me up here, it'll be, I looked it up, uh, Prescott down in the valley down here is going to be 97. Groom Creek, about halfway down the hill, 93. I'm up on top, pretty good elevation, so for me, I should be, well, I'll be lucky if it doesn't get over 90, but probably high 80s so anyway I uh, once again have that same antenna that I had on the last activation if you saw that it kind of gave me some problems I took it home and put it on the analyzer and sure enough it was a uh, was not tuned but uh, I really like that antenna it used to be uh, all four of the bands that I use I just plug it in and and uh, SWR was pretty close to nothing. Pretty close to one to one, I guess I should say. Uh, so this will be the last try. If I, I haven't finished constructing uh, the, the new antenna that's gonna replace this one. So I have the same two antennas I had on the last activation. My primary one and then kind of a backup one. I don't like the backup one though because it doesn't have 60 meters and it isn't tuned as well as, as this uh, one that's my favorite, so I don't know, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess. So we'll see how it goes today. Three peaks, Union, Triddle, and Spruce coming up. Well, this is, this is it, Mount Union. Several communication towers on top and then a forest service lookout as well. I don't know if it's manned or not. We'll see if it is or not when I get up here and see if there's a car parked up here. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do is try to get a hold of the people that are expecting me on two meters first Go out to that helipad. I'll show you where that's at. And then work two meters with my Yagi for a few. Then I'm gonna go to 17, I think. 17 megahertz and uh, see if I can get some DX maybe. It's a little late in the day, but propagation's improved a little. Solar flux 75, 76, 77, somewhere around there. It's better than it's been in a long time. So we'll see what 17 meters does. And then we'll play it from there. So, let's see. I'm not seeing anybody up here. 
this is usually where they would park. There's a tower. Yeah, we're all alone. Great. So if I remember right, the communication, sorry, the, the helipad's over this way from what I remember. Let's see here. Smells like the same stuff that railroad ties is made out of. I guess it's creosote, maybe. Let's stick this in here. Yeah. Throw this down. CQ, 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 soda, CQ, soda. November, Juliet, 7 Victor, NJ, 7V, calling CQ for summits on the air. I'm not hearing nothing uh, at the moment. 77 USA. CQ, CQ, NJ, 7V. KC7 MSU. Hey, KC7 MSU, NJ, 7V, you are 5'9. 904. 59, Charlie, you're 59 as well. Have a great morning up there. Hey, thank you, Dan. 73 to you. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet 7 Victor, NJ 7V calling CQ. NJ 7V and 7TXT. And 7TXT, NJ 7V, you're 5'9. 5'9 as well. Have fun. Thank you, 73. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet 7, Victor calling CQ. NJ7V, WA7JTM. WA7JTM, NJ7V, 5-9. Okay, QSL, very good. So you're up on Union? Up on Union, yep, and uh, sitting here on their standing, I guess, on the helicopter pad, uh, trying to get some people. Okay, very good. Well, I know you don't have 1296, so no biggie there, but, uh, okay, great. I was outside, the wife alerted me, so uh, you're in the log uh, 1606. Okay, thanks, sir. All right, thank you as well. Uh, you're number three, so it'll be activated with one more. There you go. Actually, it's already activated. I'll get the points with one more. WA7, W7 USA, W7 USA, W7 USA, NJ7V, W7 USA, 535353, over. Hey, you're, you're making the, the noise modulate, but no intelligence, sorry, W7 USA. W7 USA, W7 USA, W7 USA, 535353, 53, 53, 53, over, over. K7JE, you're 5'9. Alright, glad to be in number four. You're also 5'9. Ah, thank you very much. Have a good one. Uh, K7TAB, Chris, hey, good morning, 5'9. Morning, Charlie, you're 5'9 as well. What are you using? Oh, I got a Yagi pointing there out that direction here on the helicopter pad. Okay, alright, yeah, you can copy even from my neighborhood. I came out portable, but I didn't need it. Are you horizontal or vertical? I'm vertical. W7 USA 53 W7 USA W7 USA 5353 Dang it, no copy. I got to switch hands. Uh, no 1296 today, Charlie. 
No, I did, you know, I was talking to Pete last night. I thought I'd only have about one contact on it and it wasn't worth it, but you're the second person that's asked and I know that uh, JE probably would have as well. I'm kicking myself. I didn't bring it. No worries. Just wanted to know if I needed to hang out here for a minute. Have fun, Charlie 73. Yeah, 73. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and look for a place to set up here for HF. I guess right here off the helicopter pads, as good a place as any. And uh, then uh, I'll be keeping the radio on just in case. NJ7V. I did all right here on uh, on uh, Mount Union. I was able to get, raise probably six, seven FM contacts into the valley. It's a pretty good haul. And then uh, I uh, got quite a few more uh, than I had expected on 18 uh, megahertz uh, on 17, uh, 17 meter band, but uh, uh, no DX, I'm not surprised. So I did uh, 17, then I went to 40, and then 30. I did all right, so off to Triddle now. Mount Triddle. Walking down this uh, road from Mount Union. Just wanted to show y'all right there is Mount Triddle. That's uh, two and a quarter miles as the crow flies from here. Pretty close. Boy, this is not an easy hike. There's a, there's a jungle out there. I mean, this is where I came from. Following this ridge line, but no trail. There's a lot of growth, so it's hard going. I have gone 0.4 miles. That's as far as I thought it was gonna be. But it looks like I got another, maybe quarter to go, quarter mile to go. I'm getting there. Well, finally made it up on top. Right on time, it's noon, local time. It's a nice view once again. I think I'll just do two meters here and then look for a place for HF. Last time I was up here, I did it right over there. Over there by those fences, but I think I might just stay over here this time. But set up the gag in point that direction and we'll see what we can get all right I'm not gonna worry about doing a recording on this one I gotta get going I'm kind of a little bit behind so 10 meters right now and then we'll we'll go from there I'm not gonna put these earbuds in let me get this battery here plugged in and then I won't put the earbuds in so we can hear what's going on and we'll go straight to 10 meters if SWR is okay Oh yeah, looking good, 28.062. There's my phone. And let's go for it.
windy. But uh, I, I forget how pressed for time a person is when they do three summits. It's not fun. I mean, it's great to get the points, but that's not, it's too much. Two or, one or two peaks is enough, in my opinion. Ugh. I could, I'd be good with one or two. It just feels, I just feel pressed for time, you know, up here. I, the last two peaks, I just felt pressed for time so that I could, I could make it to, to the third one. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just went with the, with the two and called it good. But what's done is done. So I've done two now on, on to the, the third. We'll uh, do Spruce Mountain and then head home. All right, we're off to Spruce Mountain. It's a half a mile hike up the road. I am bushed, beat from that last hike. That bushwhack was 0.6 miles, but it was a rough go. A lot of, a lot of uh, growth and uh, it was really steep bunch of dead leaves made it slippery fell a couple of times but uh, I'm glad that this is back to the road I can handle this so it's really hot I mean that last hike I was so hot it had to be 90 or above it's still hot right now but for some reason it doesn't feel as hot right here Here we are, Spruce Mountain. There's a look up tower and there is somebody up in there. This right here is in the activation zone though. Uh, look at the map. So I could go up there, but I'm just gonna stick with it right down in here. There's a, I think they mentioned the shade over there. That's looking kind of inviting. Uh, maybe I'll go over there. All done, had a great uh, three peak day. And uh, I was surprised, shocked actually, that both of my antennas were working now. I, all I did was go home and repair them, but they didn't feel, I didn't feel like, uh, in fact, I know the uh, SWR on the meter, they showed uh, like they were off by quite a bit, but must've just been up the area, uh, Towers Mountain, but I took them home and, and put them up and they were, off. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but they're working now and I had a great time I used both antennas and they worked perfect. So we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching uh, Don't forget you can uh, catch uh, the more videos like this one right here and subscribe right here